Hello guys and welcome back to Hunting the Foxes. This is episode 4 and today I have another two games for you like every episode but this is extra special because we are closing in on the Premier League. So if I look at the Premier League table right now you can see we're only three points behind Leicester with a couple of games in hand. So it is in our favour to lose the title I think at, the, at this stage um, in time. We did lose to Stoke. I, sa I said last episode, this is going to be an easy win, so I won't put it on, on video. And we lost 1-0. We, um, we just didn't create any chances. We, we, lacked, um, we just lacked a firepower up front because Harry Kane, again, is struggling like hell. Look at those stats. You know, we've had 13 shots to their six. Four, only four on target, which isn't a great um, ratio of shots on target to shots. So, um, yeah, we just lacked a bit of oomph. But um, we're playing Manchester United, and my fixture congestion is absolutely fucked up because we went through to the Europa League semi-final. Um, we beat four, we beat Marseille four 0 up at the lane. Typical Harry Kane got a brace, and Nasser Chatterley also got a brace. Um, but we'll we we'll go play Chelsea and Man United, a very very heated couple of games. Um, especially the Chelsea one in real life, it was probably it was brilliant, but absolutely brutal. I think I put that on my Twitter. Um, I think that sums, summed up the game very well. Uh, I also have a I'll show you about Harry Kane. I'll, I'll take you to Harry Kane right now. So I'm going to put Ali Nutmeg's uh, comment right now on the screen. And he says, put Kane as a complete forward or deep line forward. So today I'm going to try him as a complete forward attack. And then the next game, maybe against Dortmund or whatever, I play him as a deep line forward attack also. Just to see if it works. And he also says, and click shoot more often on the play instructions. Well, Ali, I've actually done that already. Because I, I just know Harry Kane loves to shoot more. And it, and um, he's a very good, he's got a shot on him, shall I say. Shot? He's just got a really good shot, hasn't he? He scores goals. But um, hopefully today, against Manchester United, he can do the biz. Um... Ericsson's out injured, crack cracking stuff, isn't it? Ankle, ankle injury. I think he twisted it. Yeah, out for f he was out for four weeks for a twisted ankle. Pretty pathetic, I think. But Chadley comes into a team on the left. Uh, Batonga comes back from injury, and apart from that, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. We're playing Manchester United first. Let's get into the game. We own Manchester United after what happened last game, and obviously at the first game of the season, Spurs did lose one nil to Manchester United at Old Trafford. Wasn't a great game at all, but less revenge game. Obviously, the result here was 3 0 to Tottenham. All three goals came quite late in the second half. Uh, I know Lamella scored a really nice third goal, but we are underway, I think. My, my FM is going very slow today. I don't know why. Why are you going slow? They have got the ball with Herrera. Interesting. Young on the right. Chatterley now intercepts it. Then Belly now on the ball. Chatterley. Once again, they're playing some nice interchanging stuff. Now Dembele's pushing on a bit on the left-hand side. Cross it into Harry Kane! Oh yes! The comment of dreams from Delhi or Ali. Need to win this game. I think after a disappointing Stoke loss, we need to try and win our home games. I think if we win our home games, I'm pretty sure we will win the league. And now can we get a second Lamella? Oh, it's a hit the post! And Alderweireld taps it in off the rebound. It's Tottenham 2, Manchester United 0, and Spurs are cruising to victory already. So half-time, we are two goals to the good against Manchester United. We're playing brilliantly. Um, controlling the game, Manchester United have not had a highlight. Let's keep it like that because I don't want to concede and go down to 2-1. That's what happened in the Bournemouth game. They played really well in the second half. Um, and we got a bit nervy towards the end because I took a couple of players because I thought we had the game game sealed and sealed and deal uh, sealed and dealed. Sealed and dealed. We'll go with that. There's the highlight for Manchester United. Blind matter out to blind again. He now cuts it back to Schweinsteiger. Not many options because we're pressing so high with Deli Alley there. Smalling has to hit it long, which isn't great because you've got Wayne Rooney. You can't really run. Now Rose up to Alley. Gets tackled by Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger plays in Harry Kane! And that's a great save from David De Gea. Again, saving Manchester United like he's done all fucking season long. Uh, I should make changes, shouldn't I? Because I don't want to get any injuries. Especially we've uh, been hit with a couple with... Um, Ericsson and obviously Vertonghen was, was hit with an injury. I don't have a left back. D Danny Rose will be fine. Nasser Chadley's a bit tired, so we'll put Son on the left. 
and then Ali can t come off, and we'll bring on uh, Josh Anoma. I think it's Onoma or Anoma. Uh, again, put in the comments how you say his name, because obviously I don't know how to say good names. But now Kyle Walker, don't know why he's there, but Lamella back to Bentaleb, who's just come on. Dembele, he loses it out, and now can Manchester United spring a counter-attack? Answer is a definite no. And now we're back on the ball. If you look at the stats, we've absolutely dominated Manchester United. Awful performance from the Mancunians. And now Kane, can he get his third hit to the post? But we've had 21 shots compared to their four. Um, again, our shots on target to shots ratio isn't good enough. Still, we need to improve on that. But we haven't let Manchester United have a shot on target. If you don't have a shot on target, you literally can't score. Look how many fouls Manchester United have committed. 25. Are you mad? 25. And that is full-time. They didn't have a shot on target in the whole game, so flipping full-time devils will be absolutely going on a mad one, and including Andy Tate. That's an old reference, isn't it? It was only a year ago, but it's still old for, for social media terms. But we're back on top of the league. Van Hals, Van Hals not happy. Obviously, he went this week... Uh, Probably going to be replaced by Jose Mourinho. And talking about Mourinho, we play his old team. Chelsea at the bridge is coming up next. Welcome back. It's the second game of the episode. And before we do that, obviously, we have a score to bring you. And it's Tottenham Hotspur 2, Borussia Dortmund 0. Deli Ali and Harry Kane with the goals. And Harry Kane, I tried him as deep line forward. And boy, oh boy, he was absolutely insanity. Got a goal and an assist. 8.3 match rating. Nearly got player match. Eric Lamella just pipped him to that. But he played Chelsea. And it's exactly the same team as last uh, Premier League game. We're making, we're making things very simple. Um, we're playing terrifically well. Can't really drop anyone. Um, the only difference is Harry Kane plays a deep line forward. And if that doesn't work in the first half, change it up to a complete forward and God's your uncle, really. So let's head into the Chelsea game. Massive, massive game. Like I said earlier in the episode, it was very heated, this game. Very heated. Obviously, Spurs went 2-0 up and then Hazard scored that second goal for Chelsea to make it 2-2. And basically, ha oh, it was literally a hand left of the title. But um, as you can see on the league table, Leicester have got two games in hand after this one. They're only one point ahead of me, so it is definitely in my hands right now, I feel. But um, we could s so easily, f f you know, drop out because we've got some tough fixtures coming up. But this is probably the biggest test, I think, the rest of the season. is much easier, or a bit easier, but, it's, but let's try and win. But Hazard now, talking of the devil, Hazard scores past Lloris and Chelsea l give their fans the lead after 14 minutes and we are behind that's our first Premier League goal conceded in a long time apart from Stoke like going back it's been a long time um, so just a long ball and Rose lost his man and now Hazard runs through on goal showing his form of last season we don't normally go behind so it'll be interesting to see how well we, we react really and now Williams through on goal one on one with Lloris and he scores fuck Chelsea 2 Tottenham 0 and is this game going to absolute crunch, crush our um, Premier League title hopes? I really hope not. But it's 2-0 already and we're apps. What is going on? Get one back. Game on. Rose can drive into a box. Puts a cross in. Lamella scores back post. And you know, back post crosses are OP on this game. And it's now Tottenham 1, Chelsea 2. And it's game on. Rose again providing the assist. Lamella right footed. Taps it past L Courtois in nets, or is it Courtois, or is it Begovic, it's Courtois, and now here comes Spurs again, Shadley now also on the ball, Dyer into uh, Aspilicueta, uh, Aspilicueta in, in the uh, Lamella scores and shoots, shoots and misses, highlights still continuing though, Shadley now to Dembele, Rose, can you put another ball in, and Zuma clears, but only as far as a corner to Spurs, can we score from here, no, but we're, st we're staying in it, 2-1, if we can be in the game, up to the 70th minute, I fancy us to get an equaliser. I fancy us to snatch a goal. So Son is on for Cradley. Hopefully Son can do what he did in real life because he obviously scored the second goal for Spurs. Corner now, Spurs. 
Uh, Kane it falls to Kane. Vertonghen! Yes, come on! We've done the reverse on t Chelsea. What they did to Spurs in real life. It's now Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Get in there. Come on, you Spurs. Coys. It falls to Kane. It's scrappy. Vertonghen taps it into an open net. And Spurs are now back level. Let's go. Come on. Can we get an, a late winner? Up to Ali. Ali can slip in Son. Dembele. Walker's there. Right hand side. Walker! Yes! Oh my god, what a turnaround! Oh, it's Tottenham 3, Chelsea 2, and Kyle Walker gets his first goal of the season. And that could be a crucial goal in the title race. Lovely ball. I don't know who it was Dembele, I think, or Ali. But Walker puts it into that near post, and that is lovely stuff. It's 3-2 Tottenham. Chelsea have dominated us in this game, but we've taken our chances, which we haven't done um, in past games, because... We should be scoring more than we have. Just under 20 on the clock. I'm going to play counter. Dyer's on the yellow card, but he's playing really well. I'm going to keep him out. I'm going to take Ali off for Carroll and make him an advanced playmaker attack. Just to bring him back a bit into play. Chelsea again come forward. Zuma heads it in. Free header. It's an absolute crack of a London derby. It's Chelsea 3, Tottenham 3. I feel like going counter might have helped that a lot. But Tongan doesn't even get old. Son. Why is Son marking Zuma? That is awful. Dembele. Carroll. That's awful, Tom. Oh, Thomas Carroll. And now Hazard through goal. And he's missed. We can get a point against Chelsea. I'll take that. Especially when we are 2-0 down, which we had no chance in this game. But going through to up and conceding a latish goal is pretty annoying. But... A 3-3 at the bridge is an absolutely tremendous, tremendous game. So at the end of this episode, we sit currently second place in the league. One point ahead of Arsenal, one point behind Leicester. But the big one is we have two games in hand on the Foxes. So it's still in our hands with four games to play. If we get like 10 plus points, I think we've won the league. You can do the math. I think Leicester, yeah, they can only get 75 points. So we only need seven more points from the remaining four games. And the four games are Southampton, West Brom, West Ham and Newcastle United. So next episode, I will be bringing you the Southampton and West Brom doubleheader, double header, both at home. We need to win our home games. If we can win those both, we could be crowned champions of England next episode. Obviously, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like. The likes are amazing, this, episode, uh, this series, should I say. I think 24 on the first one, 20 on the second one, and 19 on the third one. Fourth one, I only got 13, but still, that's still very good. So if we can still hit that 15 like mark, uh, that'd be terrific. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do that, because it's you know on the way down. Uh, comments. How do you say Josh and Noma's name, Onoma or Noma? Follow me on Twitter at Yankman YT. And until next time on Hunting Foxes, I'll see you then. Goodbye.